Hi everyone, my name is Monica Anderson and this is my informational speech. I was not able to uh, connect with my small group this week just because of everything going on in life with my great grandma passing away, um, visiting with family, all of that. So I am giving this presentation to my fiance and my puppy who you may or may not hear in the background or see walking around. All right, so let's get started. The importance of Vacation Bible School. What is Vacation Bible School? VBS, also known as, was founded in 1894 in Hopedale, Illinois. VBS is a great way to reach out to children in the community who may not know who Christ is. VBS offers a week-long exploration of who he is and what he did for us through a fun and exciting way. By the end of the week, those who have not accepted Christ will be asked if they would like to do so. This is a very exciting time for some. Personally, I may or may not have accepted Christ into my heart about four or five times. Um, just because I thought it was a membership and I had to do it each week or each year. That's another story for another day. Um, this is the leading ministry for children. It is typically a week-long event that many children join, whether they attend that hosting church or not. You will find that a lot of churches will do them at various times during the summer, so that way they do reach the entire community and you have multiple various options to join. Below, off to the side, you will see three themes. At one point in my life, I was a part of each of these vacation Bible schools. These three themes were the ones that I had the opportunity to take part in, where I was a, it was the preschool lead for the arts and crafts room. Um, so we did Growing in Friendship with Jesus on Hay Day. High Seas Expedition, that was a personal favorite. And Sky, where everything is possible with God. Mm -hmm. Why Vacation Bible School? Vacation Bible School is the leading ministry vehicle. Did you pause it? Sorry, puppy malfunction. Um, so Vacation Bible School is the leading ministry vehicle, you could say. Um, this offers a connection to families that may, they may not attend the hosting church. They may have never attended church a day in their life. Um, so Vacation Bible School is a fun way to reach out to the community and get a hold of those kids in the local area who, may you know need something to do but this is also a great way to reach out to them and bring them to christ ultimately so it's a great outreach for families as well um i've seen a lot of a lot of children who they weren't attending on you know the weekly basis on sunday mornings um they would show up with friends, they'd have a great time, and then by the end of the week, they were bringing their parents in and trying to show them things. And that's always a huge heart melter because like, you know that what you're doing is making a difference in those kids' lives, and now they're bringing it home and showing their parents too. When does Vacation Bible School take place? During the summer, um, as mentioned, there's a lot of churches, so in my hometown, um, there's four or five churches. Each one would do it during a different time of the summer. You know, the first or second week of June, first or second week of July, and then even a couple in August. And that was just their way to reach out and make sure that kids were able to join and have fun and explore and just really gain Gain that knowledge that kids need at this age. 
the vacation Bible school versus church school movement. What is the church school movement? This is your Sunday school classes. Um, this would take place on Sunday mornings, typically after a nice, wonderful 45 minute sermon. Um, the church will then break out into typically small groups. You'd have your age groups that will go off to Sunday school. You would have your um, like your older women's group and your you know your older guys. Everybody ultimately breaks up into groups, and you take that time to think about what was talked about in the sermon for the day. Um, vacation Bible School. So the difference between the two is Sunday school is going to be weekly, every week from, you know, spring to fall during the school year, whereas Vacation Bible School is every day for five days, once or multiple, depending on what you choose to do during the summer. My earliest memory of Vacation Bible School um, would have to be watching the videos of Chatter, and just those movies were always my favorite. Um, but just watching how the themes that the church would um, partake in and see how that relates into what we were learning. Um, Chatter was always a fun one. The arts and crafts, so for example, at the beginning, I had mentioned the Sea Expedition was my favorite theme. Um, at one, one point, I remember we made little binoculars. Mind you, this was preschool. We did binoculars with um, toilet paper rolls. Super silly, but so much fun. And the kids got to view it as, you know, like, we see Christ. Um, so that was a really fun memory that I have of just teaching them. Um, an early memory of Sunday school is I remember there was one of those moments where I was asked to read a Bible verse and the Bible has some very big words in it and I was in I think I was second grade um, second or third grade reading through it and I said something wrong and that was like my first like Okay, sometimes kids aren't very nice. Um, but this was my like moment of I can read the Bible and I will read the Bible. And it was one of those silly moments where you don't really know what you're saying. But as you get older and you read it over and over again, you see how it works in your life. Vacation Bible School versus Sunday School. Vacation Bible School offers multiple areas of fun. Games, crafts, a movie, story time, snacks, and singing. Uh, the snack was always a fun one too because you get to create a snack that goes along with the theme. Um, you have the opportunity to make the snack and then you also get the opportunity to eat the snack. So that was fun. Um, whereas, you know, Sunday school is more story time. It's more learning, um, learning more about something that you had learned earlier in the morning during the sermon that the pastor would give. Outreach programs. These are programs that my home church offers. Wow, Crossroads, Wednesday night programs, etc. Cuddle up time, and then Sunday breakfast. Wow, so Wow is a program um, for, I believe it's preschool to like fifth grade. Um, this is where they would, you know, families come together, all the kids come together. Um, you'll learn more on Wednesday nights. Crossroads, same thing. Crossroads is more designated towards um, junior high. 
And then cuddle up time, this is something that I've never been able to participate in, but this is <clears throat> a time for mothers or fathers to connect with their toddlers. Um, from what I've heard, you sit in a circle, they sing, um, they do like a little story time, but you just, ultimately you get to sit there and spend time with your, your toddler and just have that one-on-one -on -one time with them for like an hour. Um, Sunday breakfast I thought was always a really cool thing. My grandparents' friends actually started this. They would get a bus, I believe it was a church bus, and they would go around and pick up kids in the area that they knew were struggling um, at home. Mainly parents were able to provide them with food. And so Sunday breakfast was their way to reach out to them and say, hey, you know, if you want to come to church with us, that's fine, you can. But here's some food for you to eat for the morning. Um, and a lot of times, like, in the beginning, I know some, they would go for the food and then they would just go home. Um, but a lot of them eventually ended up going to church and ended up being there for like 20 years because they just, they grew to love the program. They grew to love the people. And I think when the Thomases or Thompsons did Sunday breakfast, I think that was one of the best um, outreach programs that they could have done. So Vacation Bible School is an outreach ministry bringing kids closer to God. Um, connecting those who may not have the opportunity to go during the school year to Sunday school. Um, and the other programs, um, the other programs are ultimately the same thing. They're just outreach programs to offer kids, young adults, even adults, an opportunity to come to church and really get a feel for what we offer. And then attached here is my bibliography. Where is it? Thank you.